Are Prince William and Princess Catherine ready for the throne? Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I've got this uh, interesting reading here. I was actually looking at Charles and Camilla uh, on TV uh, when they opened Parliament and oh lord, do they look tired and they don't look well at all. I'm thinking that uh, yeah, maybe they, they're not doing so well. Um, which has got me wondering how ready are William and Catherine? How how ready is William, uh, Prince William and Princess Catherine if something happens? And I'm, I'm not talking about, you know, moving to a better place. I'm actually saying um, after seeing these people, um, you know, Charles and Camilla just sitting there and, I did try to find a better picture uh, because I thought, oh, that's just, you know, the paparazzi playing up on the, uh, you know, playing against whoever, the royal family. But there wasn't there wasn't a better picture at all or I couldn't find one. And that's what was all over the mainframe on our side anyway. And we are a member of the Commonwealth and we're all looking at this and I'm going, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, sure. You know, when you when you got the Queen and and you know, she 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 was fantastic and of course we all accept, you know, age, don't get me wrong, I'm not a spring chicken. But yeah. When 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 you have a dynasty or, or a lifetime of service and you take over that role and you're like seventy yourself, you know. Well actually you're older. Um, I think Charles is about, oh, he's coming up 75, that's right, coming up 75 this week, and Camilla's older than him. Yeah, so, wow. Okay, I'm using the uh, Machete um, uh, Royal Tarot, Royal uh, Gilded um, Tarot, uh, tarot. and uh, these are my old cards, these are cards that I actually learned on <laughs> years and years and years ago and um they reflect well it's royal like i said so they do reflect the royal family and when i've been doing other readings for them they they resonate so okay let's do this we've got cards william and catherine how ready are they for the throne let's do this all right, the Empress Reverse. Well, yes, yes. She's not doing too well, is she? The Lovers Reverse. Okay. The Queen of Cups Reverse. The Four of Swords Reverse. And the Tower. Oh. um okay 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 uh be careful <laughs> i've got to be careful here um yeah i'm not going to say it out on public anyway if anyone's uh wants to dm me i can definitely say what i can see here but camilla's not doing too well at all let's just move on from there um, eight of swords, bounded, um, someone, the, the lovers, the lovers, uh, very, very upset and they're bounded in their thoughts. A king of cups. Yeah, well, two of cups, no more partnership. This is true, you know, this is true. I mean, I'm not going into individual meanings because the cards are validating as I'm pulling out with the legacy. This is the uh, Ten of Pentacles. This is a inheritance legacy. You've got a page of pentacles here and two of swords, which is pretty obvious that they need to make a decision. I'm not going to go into this because they are actually saying, yes, they're old. 
we'll just go with that, okay? I don't want to go, especially with the tower and, and the four swords in reverse, I don't want to go into the heavy meanings of that. But the cards are acknowledging that, yes, they are both old. Um, they, they, need, <laughs> they have a decision. They do actually have a decision um, to about the legacy and and um, the page of pentacles now the page of pentacles um, mm, who would the page of pentacles be well that could be louis <coughs> oh excuse me oh charlotte okay guessing let's let's move on Okay, so underline, sorry. <coughs> mm. Underlining. We've got the King of Swords. Okay, now now we're starting to make some sense. Okay. This is William's card. The Ace of Swords is cutting through the truths. Uh, when William comes in, into power the truth will come out the uh a new beginning will come out and it will all be about the truth he is not going to put up with all the smoke screen so to speak that's happening at the moment no that hasn't come in but we all know what's happened with one side of the family anyway and what and um you've got the uh uh nine of cups here um you've got a knight in shining armor so to speak so william's going to come across and he's he's a little bit angry <laughs> to put it mildly he's a little bit angry but when he does take over he's definitely ready um and he will be the so-called knight in shining armor because of things being passed down because of the siblings uh I see this as his family. This is William's family, a direct line to the family. Uh, so this is his his kids here being passed down. And you've got the four cups here. Reverse with the king of pentacles. Okay, that's interesting because we had the um, king of pentacles come up uh previously and i wasn't too sure who that was either um but it does indicate that uh the king of pentacles in this um in the scenario or in this era would be the person that you know hold the, the ruler that has all the money and and everything like that um so let me see what i'm getting out of this the Four of Cups is that, um, or something that someone wasn't looking, but they are now. They are actually looking um, into the future, uh, from the past uh, into the future as the King of Pentacles. So to me, despite the fact this is, um, this is a ruler anyway, Ah, uh, you know, I've been trying to divert the King of Pentacles, so to speak, because I really don't want everything to be about Harry, every reading about Harry, despite the fact I'm reading about the royal family. Um, and, and a previous reading was uh, about a book about the royal family. Um, <sighs> this is Harry, unfortunately. And I, I tried so hard not, you know, not to not to bring his energy in because it's so negative. Now this is making sense why this is negative and why the previous one is negative as well. So if you follow me over um, from another reading, you'll probably understand where I'm going with that. The King of Pentacles is uh, technically Harry and he's not a very nice person at all. He's a very um yeah we'll just and and he's manipulating he's manipulating um the whole thing he's manipulating what's happening with the royal family and why why both camilla and charles aren't doing so well okay 
complete manipulation and that's come from the magician the eight of cups reverse eight of pentacles reverse and the chariot okay so this sign here is all about harry and the reason why i'm saying that is because we've got the king of pentacles and and i had to call it how it is as you know as much as it was is william and or are william and catherine ready to take over the throne william is william is definitely ready 100 percent ready and when he does when he does the truth will come out he won't hesitate he will cut through the truth and he will be the knight in shining armor for the the royal family for because of his kids because of his kids he's uh he's done looking uh, sorry he he's he's definitely looking uh he's turned a blind eye so to speak and not anymore because his brother just keeps coming back with with more bs and and you know manipulation through <laughs> through whatever um whether it's the internet whether it's the internet or it's the uh newspapers or tv or something like that there's there's complete manipulation and and for what for what i mean nothing's working you know the eight of pentacles is working hard <coughs> excuse me um the eight of pentacles is is working hard on things and then you've got the um the eight of cups and and it's like okay well you know stop looking elsewhere you know you, you need to walk away you need to to stop all this this you know anyway anyway um i'm going on a little bit of tirade here i'm just angry that he comes through he always harry always comes through so i guess what do i expect you know when i read about the royal family but i would have liked a little bit of information although i got too much information here anyway so yeah sure um the the cards always tell you what you need to know and uh yeah apparently i need to know this so let's just run with that so you've got uh, the chariot here as well the chariot is uh williams card uh, uh major arcana card is is williams he's um from his birth he's on the cusp um but yeah it's definitely williams he's um yeah 20 yeah yeah that is him it's all right i'm just thinking and, and it is i've just had a, a a double check on when he was born and the ace of cups is an offering and th this is beautiful it's absolutely beautiful here an offering to the world uh could this be a shot could it be a shot it looks like it to me uh offering of love a chalice of love uh with you know an open eye on things to the world um yeah five of pentacles uh, uh five of pentacles is um back in uh, back in from the cold so how i see it here despite the fact of of all the damage that harry is trying his hardest to do William is coming through and it's been proven as we speak now with Earthshot how how good he is and how good he's going to be. Um, as for Charles and Camilla and their, their legacy, uh, yeah, they, they're not doing too good. They're not doing too good at all, okay? Um William is ready anyway William's ready and that's good to see because I think here that Charles and Camilla you know maybe there's an announcement coming through page of Pentacles is an announcement maybe there's an announcement coming through very soon it might not be a good announcement for them but um at least I'll get to retire and and you know give it to the fresh give it to William and the fresh start because he will put a stop to to Harry 
And I think the world needs to see that verification from the Ace of Cups here. The world definitely needs to see a stop to all the BS that's happening. And on that note, please like and subscribe. Any comments, that would be absolutely fantastic. Um, if you want to know what I did see in the cards earlier, then that's fine. Um, yeah, please DM me. It won't be on, on that. But, yeah, um, we'll be in touch. Okay. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you can follow me through on another reading. Thank you. Bye.